what are we really looking for? This is where you have to decide not only if you're going to submit wine for by the glass or by the bottle, Sorry. Um, you have to decide if you're going to submit liquor for the well or the back bar. If you're doing something for the well, you have to go to corporate, period. Whether for any liquor, whether it's a controlled list or semi-controlled list, the well pours are all done at the corporate level. So don't bother going to the store saying, hey, I've got this great affordable vodka, can you pour it on your well? Because it's not going to happen. Go strictly just to the corporate office for that. This is more for the specialty products, the new products that are on the market. I was talking to someone out on the floor about uh, spiked cider. There's also craft beers and honey mead beers and a lot of new things that are coming out that are very exciting and the millennials are eating it up. They love it. So it's an opportunity for you to go to them with your sales force and say, we have all these fun, beautiful new products. Get them at the store levels. Get them at 10 stores. Get them at 15 stores. Get in the chain somehow and then let it grow from there. And that's the best way to do it. There's also promotions we do. Study the chain and see what they're currently doing and target a specific program. We do um, a summer wine tasting event every summer. We do a fall event paired with a burger. We might want to do something else that you want to suggest to us that we're not doing. We're very open to hearing what your ideas are. Just come with a plan, have it make sense, and propose it. If you, can get, if you can't get it approved on a corporate level, get it approved on a store level and do what we call a trial. We'll put it in some test markets and we'll test it at 10 stores or 15 stores. We might do it in the rural, we might do it in only the metropolitan areas, but we'll test it out and see how it goes. If the program is successful, it may become a corporate mandated program that we might do every single year. So it's something also to come forward with. So that if you don't have a program you want to submit to that we're currently doing, that's when you come up and create your own and develop it for us and let us pour it for you. Options for small producers. There's a lot of boutique wine uh, companies here today and in general and as the wine industry grows as a whole, there's more and more competition, not only from other countries, but also within our own countries. I can't even count now how many wineries are in California and Italy. And the other problem with Italy is there's about 2,000 grapes to remember the name of. We don't know what they all are, and they're not all sellable either. So it's really important to approach wisely and with a reason. I was at a dinner banquet with a small high-end Napa Valley producer and I asked him why he wasn't selling to our chain. And he said, well, I don't make enough wine. And I said, well, have you thought about doing a corporate mandated wine dinner at our chain? He goes, well, I don't know what that means. I'm like, well, we have 70 locations. If we say, let's pick half of them and do a corporate mandated wine dinner with your wines, you can control in advance how much wine you'll sell because we can limit it to, we can limit the head count at each store to say 30 people or less. We can do it all within the same week. So you're making all the sales within that same week. And if we limit the guest count and we limit the number of bottles we're buying, especially of your high-end product that I know you don't make a lot of, you can still do this dinner. So that's exactly what happened. We ended up doing a corporate mandated wine dinner at all of the Capitol Grills within the same week of this high-end boutique winery. That winery's done two promotions with us since and have been with us since. 
So it's something really to consider with the smaller producer that there are other options to still sell to us. And that was advertised, of course, heavily with our concept that we were doing this. And they did a video for us to play at that wine dinner. So we started the evening with their video from them with their family of wines. And then we proceeded to do a dinner with their wines for that dinner. So it was an amazing event and something to keep in mind also.